1912, Garrett Morgan invented a mask that lets people breathe somewhat safely when walking through fire. We call it a gas mask today. Morgan's mask used a hose that dropped to the floor where the air is safer and a sponge to absorb contaminants. He called it a safety hood. But he knew that he wouldn't have much luck peddling the invention with himself as a showman. Morgan was black and he figured the buyers would want to stay away from a black man's hood. So when he toured the country in 1914, demoing the safety hood, he hired a white actor to pose as the inventor. Morgan still played a major role during the demonstrations. He posed as the inventor's supposed assistant and was the one who actually wore the mask. He filled a tent with enough smoke to kill a man, entered it with the mask protecting him, and he spent half an hour there, then emerged safe and well. It came 1916 and the incident known as the Waterworks Tunnel Disaster. Diggers below Cleveland struck a natural gas pocket, which exploded. Rescue parties descended, choked on the gas, and died. Morgan showed up on the scene, wearing a mask and carrying others, and he was able to go in and save two people safely. Paper accounts of the disaster made no mention of Morgan at all, and he resented this. Then other accounts did mention him and his invention, and this turned out to be even worse. It now became public knowledge that a black inventor was behind the safety hood, and sales of it fell sharply after that. But that wasn't the end of Morgan's scientific career. In 1923, he invented a new type of traffic light, really the forerunner to all of today's modern traffic lights. And General Electric paid him a fortune for it.